Bowers Demonty, back at you here on the YouTube Network. We're down here in LA, but the reason I came down here is to talk to this guy. It's the new X Dynamics Evolve that's about to hit the market. You have got to try this Evolve drone. I was blown away. Maury from X Dynamics, you guys. Followers of Jim, hello. <laughs> Followers, you make me sound like Jim Jones. <laughs> Just give me a brief history on X Dynamics. Uh, we've been in development for this drone a couple years. It's our first product. Um, we, you know, we're putting the user first. We're not trying to rush something out. We're taking our time to get it right. You think it's going to start? FedExing by December 1st? Right before the holidays hit. It'll be shipped before Christmas. This is a hot rod of a drone. Yeah. All carbon fiber, overbuilt engines. Porsche Carrera. It, you know, that's our approach. The market has a lot of manufacturers who grab all their parts from all sorts of places, pull them all together. Some of them pull it off, create a great drone. I've used other products. I'm not knocking them. But our approach is we do our own R&D. You know, 95% of the drone is built in-house. We're developing our own technologies. We're not buying off the shelf and combining them. Uh, we're creating something new. We made the Evolve black and, you know, we brought the arms up, which lowers the center of gravity, which is also in nature why birds of prey change their form in the air. Yeah, the look and feel of it, there's little things, just tiny little things about this drone that are just so impressive. I like that blue LED that's around the gimbal. It's a reference, and when you hit record, that actually goes off. So it's never gonna interfere with your pictures or anything. And the LEDs around the drone are actually RGB LEDs. So you say you and your buddy both have them and you're working on a project or just flying for fun, I can have two different colors on my drone than he has. So you're not getting them confused in the air or if you just want a custom color. So I can go into a little color wheel, rainbow wheel and say that I want my front pink and my back lavender. <laughs> yes, you can have magenta in the back and, and fuchsia in the front, whatever, yeah. This is the first one. I mean, well, have you seen that before? I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Uh, so you're not using your phone. Uh, I think all of us who use our phones uh, with the drones have run into a situation where our phone is dead and we show up ready to go and then we're kind of stuck. You're using the ground station which has interchangeable batteries. You can have a backup battery. Um, also, it's a little bit more intuitive to just grab the ground station, crack it open, and ready to go. You're not, you're not plugging anything in. Can you swap mid-flight? Yeah. So you'll basically trigger a return to home <clears throat> when you take the battery out. Right. When you so what you do, and which I've hot swapped them before, and take the battery out, pop a new one in, power up the ground station. It's heading back to you, and you just take back control of the bird and fly where you want to fly from there. Yeah. We've taken a phone screen and put it down the middle of the ground station, so... And it's a good screen. It looks really high resolution. Yeah. And it, that's a touch screen, so all your controls can be done from that screen. The upper screen is what you're familiar with seeing. All your data, battery, frame rates, shutter, ISO, everything you need to know. We have, we basically used Android as our platform. So, when we open up the SDK, people are going to be able to write apps like Android developers, which there are many of, will be able to write apps to help, you know, expand the options. Maybe app developer will be able to build something and, and you know, sell it in the app store, give it away for free, however they want to do that. Instead of, we took a LiDAR approach instead of a, a, a sonar approach. So, shooting down, if we want to do, uh, if you want to fly along the ground and lock your uh, distance or elevation from the ground at and fly 20 feet. at 20 feet, if the hillside starts going up or down, the drone's going to lock that position and, tr and track along the, the ground. It's just got those big lenses basically down below. 
I think there's three. Are they all lighter? It's also a multi-spectral camera. So what that does is it actually can look at the ground and see the patterns in the ground. And so texture, the texture. Yeah. This is the first consumer level drone that is going to follow terrain. Right now we have a uh, waypoint, a uh, point of interest, and a sport mode. So basically the way we tune the drone is we tuned it for filming GPS. So everything is dampened, your yaw is dampened, your, the, the roll, the way the air brake is. It's made, it's a, it's a long board instead of a short board. You don't like to see a gimbal, you know, hit the end. We don't like land. Yeah, you don't want to see it land on something. Yeah. So everything we did was just to make it smooth as possible. You don't want to, when you're shooting something, you don't want to be distracted by a camera move. You're it's like butter. <laughs> it's such a nice floaty gimbal. And in addition to that, even our exposure in auto mode has, it's got a higher resolution or, or more options as it fades through from you know a bright scene to a dark scene. So if you're pointed up at the sky and you tilt down, you don't get big blocks of like dark color coming in or you don't see it darken uh, abruptly. It's a very gradual, soft darken. So it's just more pleasing, ultimately. What's the resolution of the radio screens, do you know? 1080, 60. So we actually have a proprietary relationship with Amimon who they do Alexa, Red. Uh, they work with the highest camera manufacturers in the world. Uh, in the cinematography world. So we actually use their technology for our wireless video signal, which is virtually instantaneous. It's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a second. Of latency? Yes, yeah. of latency. You know, like you said, this is the first drone to come out with dual two monitors on it. The top screen is your live view, or FPV. It does have an HDMI out port, so you can wear 1080p goggles, uh, you can hook to a, a ground station video monitor. The director, whoever, the producer, they get to stare at the screen, which they love to do. With A lot of people have invested a lot of money in FLIR cameras, even for other drones, and just strapping those cameras on yeah. without any stabilization. You can just get, we have a little gimbal that's built for it that hooks right into our drone. So two third sensor, micro four third sensor, and the thermal. And the highest resolution is 4K at 30 or 60? Uh, 4K at 30. Yeah. And 120 frames at 1080. Where can they look at the specs and photos and all that? I've shown you a few here, but I want you to go in there and read some of the more technical. Go to our website, xdynamics.com. Everything you need is in there. Ton of uh, good information. Also, check us out on Instagram, you know, or give us a call. We'd love to answer any questions you have. Um, we can send you out some information. So, acesdeals.biz or .net. Uh, Peter, remember that guy, that good old boy from New York City, Give Peter a call. I think his number is 888-239-2644. And that's going to do it for this edition of Demon Seed. Coming up, we'll take the Evolve out, shoot some video comparisons with the Phantom and the Mavic and the Power Eye. So stick around. You guys have a great evening. Do not forget to kiss that floppy ass wife of yours. And as always, make it a white one.